Hey guys, Hope Subar here. And a lot of you have asked what I do for a core workout every day. And I have to be honest, I don't do a whole lot. But I do work with a mini ball because it's about 10 times more effective than doing these things. You know them as sit-ups. They not only wreck your neck, but they often bulk and put pressure down on the pelvic floor and they don't help your lower back. So if you're doing core work to help prevent back pain or reduce back pain, you might be out of luck because it's gonna possibly do more harm than good in that it bulks the front, strengthens the front, and doesn't do anything for the back. So when you work with a mini ball, you work what I call 360 degree core. Front sides, backs, tops, bottom, inside, outside. And everything turns on all at once. So if you're confused about how to activate your core, you'll never have to be confused again because the mini ball helps your body figure it out automatically. So let's get started. If you have a weight, you're gonna to wanna to bring a weight nearby and place that mini ball right behind your back. I have an eight pound weight, so you could use a one, two, three, four pound weight, whatever works best for you. And let's just start with a little bit of warm up. So you're sitting nice and tall. And now think about a little bit of a pelvic tilt, not in your shoulders, just a little bit of a pelvic tilt. If you need to, place a block between your inner thighs, and that will help you recruit more pelvic floor if you're used to using your hip flexors. Let's bring the arms up genie style, drop your head, slide it in, and keep that pelvic tilt. So inhale, bring it back. Exhale, bring it back up nice and slow. So you should feel your entire core turn on for you. I call that 360. So if you put your hands around your waistline, you can't tell me that you can't feel those core muscles start to turn on. They're in there. Sit-ups can't do that for you, my friends. Inhale back, exhale back up. Again, I'm pressing my sacrum into the ball, so I'm not getting what I call rectus pufus, which is those belly muscles popping out. Inhale back, chin is down, exhale back up. Let's go four more. Inhale four, exhale like a plunger is pulling you back up on your chest. Three, two, nice and slow, last one. All right, let's bring it back again this time. 45 degrees, add that tilt. Arms are gonna extend out in front. Notice how I'm rounded. I'm gonna plug my shoulders back, keep my chest open, and keep the sacrum tilted. You do not need to be all the way back here. Further does not equal better. Here we go, inhale, arms come up. You might feel that quiver. Welcome to the earthquake. Exhale down slow, tone your arms. Inhale up, shoulders down. Exhale down slow, sacrum into the ball. Chin is down, inhale. Exhale, if you're feeling that shake, again, welcome to the core. Inhale, and exhale. Soft drop. Keep breathing. Nice and steady, you're gonna feel it where you need it the most, where your core is the weakest. However high you can bring your arms without rounding. Inhale, exhale, soft face and drop. Inhale, four. Exhale down. Inhale three. Exhale down. Inhale two. Exhale down. Nice job. One more inhale. And exhale. Bring it up nice and slow. Let's just do a little counter pose. You sit nice and tall. Exhale, bow forward. If your knees are giving you trouble, just press your heels further out. Inhale through the nose. Keep it nice and long. Exhale, elbows to the inner thighs. Or reach those arms out in front. And reposition the ball again, tucked behind the sacrum, I'm not sitting on it, but it's not gonna roll away on me at all. Okay, this is where you're gonna get the weight out. Now the weight is optional because you're working your core however hard your body can work. So adding weight will not make it better if your body's not ready for it. If you're not gonna use the weight, you're gonna go back to genie style arms. Set the weight on your chest. Don't actually hold it. I want your core to be loaded, not necessarily your arms. Here we go again, add that pelvic tilt, chin is down and level. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, up nice and slow. My hands are just holding the weight so it doesn't roll away on me. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Soft face and draw. Keep the sacrum pressed into the ball. Again, further back does not equal better. Four more.
last one. All right, let's add a little oblique to it. Either you're in genie style arms, or again, you have that weight loaded on the chest. Let's go back, pelvis tilt into the ball, and then turn one direction without leaning. Center, up, inhale. Exhale, nice and slow. I'm turning my rib cage, shoulders, arms, and head. Exhale, that one I leaned a little bit. Try to keep your legs nice and steady. Inhale. Exhale, if you feel like your legs are splicing, stick something in between them. Inhale. Exhale, you will notice your weaker lower back, your weaker oblique. Right away. The nice thing about this is it's not a forced rotation. So your strength and your pliability have to come together. Inhale, back and rotate so that we can exhale. Bring it back up nice and strong. Inhale. The name of the game here is how many can I do to the best of my ability. If you start getting sloppy, you hit your quota, then you're going to start using the wrong muscles. Even turn the head and neck, which stimulates the bladder. It's always a good thing. Try to strengthen. One more. Whew, nice job. All right, set that weight off to the side. We're gonna come all the way onto the back. So if you're wondering, you hear me all the time, and I tell you don't lay on your back for core work, or at least don't do it all the time, we're not going to. We're gonna take that mini ball and stick that underneath the sacrum. So your sacrum is where your pants are, not your shirt is. Place your hands on your pelvis and try to tip the pelvis so that it's parallel with the ceiling or the floor. We call it pelvic neutral. Basically, you have a nice little curve in your lower back. Arms or palms face in, not gripping the floor, relax your shoulders. Let's bring one leg up at a time. I can check that by resisting my hand into my leg and my leg into my hand. My core muscles contract. Keep that tone and lift the other leg. Now, first check in how stable and steady can I be. The more arm I take off the floor, the more core control I have to have. Strength and control are not the same thing, my friends. And so make sure you check in for both of them. All right, I'm nice and steady. I'm gonna to try to keep my legs steady. I'm moving from my hip, not my knee. So inhale, lower one leg down. I'm just having my hand here to show you this leg is not dropping wet. And then exhale, it's happening from the hip. It's not happening from the knee. I can have as much or as little arm as I want on the floor. Inhale down, breathe into your lungs. Exhale, contract like a zipper, like a comp compressor. Bring it back up and in. I'm super steady and stable. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale. When you use your core the right way, you don't have to suck in, pull out, do anything. All of your muscles do what we call co-contraction. They work together as a team. Inhale. Exhale. Again, the name of the game is how steady and stable can you be? You've got to work from where you are. If you're rolling all over the place, bring your arms down. Your ego will not help you tone your core. Inhale, exhale, soft jaw, inhale, and exhale. Let's go four more on each side. So we're going to finish up on this one here. Exhale. All right, here we go. Four more, a total of eight. Exhale, back up. Almost like I'm drawing a smiley face underneath my hip bones. How steady and stable can you be? Do not have to drop to the floor. Two more sets. Last one. All right, stretch the legs out, arms overhead. It's one of my favorite stretches. Drop your hips side to side. Feels so good if you do a lot of sitting during the day on those hip flexors, sacrum, and lower back. Notice if one side is a little tighter. Looks silly, but feels great. Awesome, and then knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Stretch the hamstrings a little bit, even if you just let gravity do it. 
and then slowly remove the ball and roll yourself up. That wasn't a long workout, but the thing is, let's work smarter, not harder. Effective movements that matter and make a difference. That's what the name of the game is. And if you insert these little things into your day, or you just focus on very conscious, very effective movements, you're gonna notice a big difference a lot sooner. Check me out at hopesavara.com or mothertruckeryoga.com, and I'll see you again really soon.